everyone it's your girl me viva and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the wolf among us episode three a crooked mile and this is part two if you have not watched part one go back and watch it you already know go ahead and make sure you do that but i'm about to pick up where i left off in part one and we're about to go visit the trip trap but before we get started y'all already know what to do go ahead and like up this video right now and also subscribe to my channel if you're new around here but anyways let's go ahead and resume episode three of the wolf among us a crooked mile it's 1 15 we got to two o'clock oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Are you okay? Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, you, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. And if he doesn't, he can take it up with the missus later. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some Are hospitality, you, like, on right? drugs right, right now? I mean, or you drunk? must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Just what in the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. In fact, I'm in a good goddamn mood. So you should take advantage. I think he's on drugs. Some pain meds. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend. Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. Let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away, though, didn't they? Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all going to have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. I'm not gonna hurt yeah, anybody. Yeah, we don't want that. And then we'll, you know, help you out with your thing. I'm running out of time, Gren. Grant. 
Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! All right, we ain't come for this. Uh, let's separate them. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh, wait, I have questions. What do you want? You're sure there's nothing else you want to tell me? I'm sure as fucking sugar. There's nothing going on. I totally forgot about him and Lily <laughs> that fast. Oh my god. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. Thanks for the... Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. And just like that, he gone. Your body gonna hurt when you wake up. Hope you know that. She is passed out. All right. Let's not wake her. I think it might be this box right here. Ooh. What else can we possibly do? That was easy. That's a cute picture. <sighs> oh, is she waking up? That you, Woody? Oh. Woody? Is that you? No, Holly. It's me, Big B. Big B. Bar's closed. And excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high-rise. 
Those of us that gotta work for a living. You may not believe this, but yeah, I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. You're friends with your friends, and we ain't friends. I have one of the Tweedles in the back, though. Why'd you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I'm just... I'm tracking a lead. Huh. Yeah? Yeah. Let's look in this book. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it. Somebody gonna answer that? If you were getting your glamour on this day, one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. I told you not to worry. Right. Listen, we have to hurry. I'll meet you down there. All right, I'll see you there. Oh, yeah, we got the address. Let's go. We about to find that creep. Big B! Damn. I just got, got a yell. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Uh, passively? Let's listen first. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. A little girl. Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> Look, kid, I don't have time for games. It's okay. Do you have a name? Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. 
Is there something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Uh, we just gonna tell Snow to do Maybe this. Maybe come back in the morning. Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? <sighs> do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Snow, I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. Hmm, let's take a look, shall we? Let me guess, big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. That your mom? Uh-huh. Ain't she a little old to be having you so young? Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Hmm. Anything is? What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Hmm. We'll be the judge of that. Looker. Let's see. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here, either. Nothing? See? How much longer do you think it'll be? Where do you buy your clothes? At a store? Oh. My mommy makes all of mine. Let's check this door. The Butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. Shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Just put it back exactly where it was, please. I'm not going to break it. I just want to open it. Put it down! What the heck Please going on? Please don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. What's going on? Uh, That's her? Really? Really? It hurts when you do it that fast. What? Not sprightly enough? You think we have time to waste on this shit? Think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not that. 
None of this pathetic witch crap crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends for enemies. You want to get shipped off to the farm, huh? I'll have you kept in the horses' stables! Now you better fucking tell me where he is, or we can skip the sentencing and go straight to judgment! There are worse things in life than darkness, Sheriff. Worse things than you. I have bigger problems than your farm. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. Is it? I don't give a shit about your problems, Greenleaf. Just talk. Now. You have no idea what's going no, on. No, I don't. That's why you need to tell me. Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Ugh. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I don't know please. about this, no. I don't know. Don't do this. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. And I, ooh, okay, Snow. <laughs> she about that like. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No, look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Uh, I'm not no. doing it. Today is your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. B Bigby! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble. And we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? A moving truck's gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. Snow is pissed. I just feel like it would burn down the whole apartment building. It would have caused more problems. I didn't want to burn the tree. We might not get what we needed if we burned the tree. And she helped us out. So, like, why burn her tree if she helped us out? You know, I'm just saying. When she could come on our side and help us out. Like... The snow piss piss. <laughs> snow mad.
Green's car. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss the spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Get out of the way. Ah, I'm in your way, love. Tell me what you know, now! Hey, you can't just go in there! Why I can't? We have a problem. Tell me who did it, just tell me who did it! I know you know! Mr. Crane, please, she can't help... I know you know what the plan is! I won't be held accountable for this! I can't! I can't! I'm sorry, I... You both know what's going on! Just tell me! Oh my god! Beat me! We don't! I, I, I didn't do anything! I promise you, I didn't do anything! These girls did the thing! We got them! They'll back me up! I just have to get this stupid ring working, that's all! They can't talk because of that spell, but once this ring gets through... I'll know what's going on, and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. It's just... Just no, let me so show you. He deserved oh. it. But wait. I can't... You have to just give me the chance. This will work. I assure you. Everything will be solved. I went to you. Damn you. Come on. Please. Tell me who killed her! My lips are sealed. <laughs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But... I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh God. We found the photos. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know, that's, that was, I just, I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look what? at it. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not, he wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much to- Shut up. Don't talk to me. Okay, okay. We've been chasing this guy. Just, why now? Because look at him. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this- Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. And maybe he is. This fuck up knows more than he's saying. I don't, I don't. Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? You know, when I saw you come back here, I thought this was over. Now, I know, and I'm sorry, but if the killer's still out there, I want to know who it is. This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, oh, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. 
Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. You are extraordinarily lucky Miss White was here to save your ass. As if it was up to me, you'd have your head swinging from the Washington Bridge. Okay, Sheriff, that's enough. This can't be Greenleaf again and again, behaving however you like, acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby, and you have to respect me as its leader, starting now. Wow, Snow Child put us in our you place. You have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. I have no regrets. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. At least we got him. He might not be the killer, but at least we got him. Now it's time to find the killer. saying who was that oh no this is not about to end very well Great, another car. Oh, and another. Just our lucky night. Of course, the Tweedles. Who was that? Hi. What you got there? Look. It's recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. Who is this Crooked Man? He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds, pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. This the girl Shh. from the voice message. The grown-ups are talking. Guys, speak English. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> Shut Thanks, up. Thanks, no. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? Wh what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. <laughs> and I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This is my job. I like my job. So think about what I'm gonna do to you, your girl, and the rest of your friends if you don't hand over the soft puppet now. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. Oh, we about to die. We 
not dead, right? Big B? I oh, know we're not dead. We good. Oh, they're gonna make us angry though. They're gonna let this wolf gonna come on right on now on them. They messing with the wrong one. Come on, Big B. Oh, they're gonna shoot us again. Transforming for real. Look at us. Yes. Ooh, we look scary as hell. what they deserve look at her she just standing there she has no fear at all hmm. we're not gonna kill him though just scare him pistolers a little bit Got the message. I'm sorry, Snow. They did this. You saw it. Oh, this little. Oh, she make me sick. Just didn't know when to end. Oh, she coming to end our life for real, for real. You know, even come on, Big B, get up, come on. Would work on anything but a cure Don't let her do this. But as it turns out, it's just a right, Wolfie. I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Oh, we don't. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow, don't do this. Who is that? Is that the crooked man? It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. Ow! Oh. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful 
relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Oh, I do not like her at all. We really gonna allow her to get away with this? Oh, no. This ain't sin well with my spirit. And that's the end of the episode. Oh, no. She gotta go, boo-boo. She gotta go. Little Bloody Mary. You gotta go. She thinks she all big and bad. Uh-uh. Next time on The Wolf Among Us. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even going to be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? Like I said, little bloody mirror, she got to go. All right. But anyways, here are my choices. It says you and 80.7% of players decided not to interrupt Snow doing a little eulogy, doing a funeral. I thought that was respectful. It was a funeral. Um, what place do you investigate first? So you and 39% of people decided to investigate Crane's apartment first. And the 40 went to the bar the trip trap i was thinking like why not investigate his apartment first because i mean we was there so like why not it was only like one percent difference there uh did you make a deal with jack you and 70 percent of people decided to make a deal did you burn green leaf's tree you and 79 percent of people did not burn her tree so i think i made better choices uh this episode I don't know. It said, do you kill Tweedledum? You and 55% of people show Tweedledum mercy. I shouldn't have. I feel like I should have killed him because he was trying to kill me. You know what they say. But anyways, those are my choices, y'all. That's the end of episode three. It was, it was something. I definitely can't not wait until I play episode four, which will be coming very, very soon. So I hope y'all stick around and look forward to that coming very, very soon. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get on out of here. Let me know what y'all think about episode three in the comment section below. And also go ahead and like up this video right now if you haven't already. And subscribe to my channel if you're new. Follow all those links down below. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye! Do you, do you, do you wanna...